What is up, YouTube? Peace of fear, and I tried making this video yesterday, to be quite honest, but uh, I don't know if it's OBS or if it's Premiere Pro, but for some reason, every time I go to render this, it doesn't render in the resolution that it's saying it's rendering in. It renders in some weird off... I already go in the wrong way. It renders in some weird off-the-wall, like, just hideous resolution. And then like so and then after it renders even though it's in this weird off the wall like 720 by 468 i think is the resolution it uh renders at like 130 gigabyte file and as good as my internet is i'm not gonna sit here and try to uh upload 130 gigabyte file to youtube because because truthfully, uh, certain places can only handle so much being thrown at it anyways. That's why Twitch has a like 6K bandwidth until you're a partner. Like limit and stuff because it just... Oops, shit because it can't support it. Anyways, it's what this video is all about. This video is about my 30 hour progress in uh, MX bikes. Yeah, I've been playing the game for 30 hours. I am slightly addicted. I may or may not have gone out of work for a few days so I can play this game. Um, I play Rider and uh, Reaper. Um, chances are they'll never see these videos. showed me the uh, wonders of MX bikes after me being a huge fan of stuff like MX versus ATV and MXGP for a few years now and I've always wondered like okay I knew about MX Sim but I've watched videos on it and I just didn't like how the game looked and that's the game didn't play well I just never liked how it looked so I never really got into that one when it came to these Motocross Sims, but for some reason, MX Bikes has hooked me. Not only does the game look freaking amazing in my opinion, um, I love the customization you can do when it comes to modding. Oh shit! But I love. I love the customization that, that you can do when it comes to the modding scene. Like, it just... It brings a whole new life to a game, in my opinion. Because, like, I did play it for a few hours before I started streaming and stuff. Like, because I wanted to at least get to where I could make it to, like, turn on the flat road without falling before I started streaming and shit. So, like, and I was playing for a little bit on non-modded bikes, like no OEM bikes and stuff, just the Poposo stuff, and honestly, like, watching Reaper's video about alpha mods, I think, because it's, like, the only thing I'm seeing is people saying fuck alpha mods. Um, for the people that stole the OEM shit and tried to sell it as their own and actually sell it when, if I remember correctly, the people who do it give this shit out for free. Like, they spend hours upon hours building it and give it out for free. Anyways, back to my point. Um, I was five hours into the game before I had knew about OEM bikes because I was like, why am I seeing these YouTubers and all these people that I watch play this game on Kawasaki's and KTM's and shit, but I don't have any of it. I thought it was like a DLC. I thought it was something I had to pay for. Like, so I'm like on the Steam page. I'm like, well, what the fuck? Then I found out and after getting these OEM bikes, like I just absolutely fell in love with the game. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me that was close to just giving up even though I put five hours in it so I wouldn't have been able to get a refund. But I have 
put seven to eight hours into this game a day for the past however many days that would take to the equal 30 hours total. But no, so I just want, kind of wanted to make this video to just talk a little bit and show off whoop, shit, where I've gotten, what are, blah, 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 where my skill has gotten to in 30 hours. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know whether or not uh, I should keep trying or if you see no hope in my riding ever improving. Um, woo! Right there, see, I gotta remember, so... This way makes the bike lean left and right. So, it's first, I gotta remember that. My mind. Even though it's like the body is leaning the way that I want it to, but... Bike will lean the other way. Oh man, I should have seat bounced that. Shit. Um, one of the things that I struggled with the most when it came to learning this game was the whole like counter steering, and I'm nowhere near perfect at it yet. Um, but I am getting better. You know, every, every day I play, after a few hours of warming up, I start to, you know, I don't know, a few hours, but after about 45 minutes of just cruising around a track, I start to get to where I can just haul ass around it instead of what I'm doing now, which is very poorly getting around the track and falling every other jump. But this game does have a learning curve, and it's not a very easy learning curve to learn. So... I get it, you know, that's one of the reasons why I think I'm as addicted to this game as I am. Because I really want to get, like, good at it. I don't want to get aerial level good, like, that's just not on my, the table for me. Like, I really don't care to be that good at this game. Um, I just want to be good enough to go online and just do some open lobby races. some like open lobby races and stuff that's all i really care about it's just to be able to perform well and have fun while doing it i mean would i turn down the chance to get into some aerial races if i ever got good enough? probably not it's because that you know as i'm watching this i have the uh rider stream i have it muted of course but casually looking up and watching the race that he's doing right now which is like some pro national thing this is a 450 debut so oh shit I'm just gonna go ahead and fall to deserve it. But yeah, only thing, only thing I hate, uh, the fact that I'm using Shadow Play now, so I don't really have a timer to see how long I've been filming, or not filming or recording. But I did a couple test videos, and it is definitely 10 times better than the quality that OBS was wanting to give me. And it's actually recording and shit at the right resolution.
be a good lap up until there. I was actually having fun with that. But, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know down below what you think about my progress in 30 hours. Uh, like I said, if I should just give up and find a new game. Um, if I should keep trying. Uh, where you think I sit skill-wise? Like, do I... Is it obvious that I've only put 30 hours into the game so far? Or have I learned pretty quick in your opinion? Also, if you have any track recommendations, uh, stuff that I'm more, you know, and do they can be paid to be free, it doesn't matter, like, uh, before anybody throws it out there, I do have Madagascar, I do have the Hearn Compound, and I have a few of the aerial tracks, but I, I have their national tracks. I'm not a super cross person. Um, even when I watch races, I prefer to watch nationals. Supercross. I'm not saying that Supercross isn't fun to watch or interesting in any in any way, but it is. I don't know. There's something about the flowiness of a nationals track that I just prefer. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rhythm sections in Supercross. Either way. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you have any track suggestions, uh, any setup ideas. So right now uh, I have stock suspension. I'm just kind of running different tire pressure, uh, drivetrain, and a increased swing arm length. So if you have any suggestions, I am on the KTM 250. So yeah, leave them down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, hit the comment button. And if you really enjoy the video, hit the subscribe button. I say comment button. Either way, hit the subscribe button and click that post notification bell. And I will see every single one of y'all in the next video.